Hey everybody, it's Brent with Whiskey 7 Backroads and today we're going to do some tower maintenance and show you how the RT Razor works going up and down the tower. So here, here is the winch that I have set up. It's hooked up to my truck battery and it allows me to raise and lower the antenna with the RT Innovations Razor system. So these are just extra coax that I have for future antennas. And then this is some guidelines that I have and I'm going to show you um, how I raise and lower. It's kind of windy today so hopefully um, you guys can hear me okay. Here is one of the anchor points. So I've got a couple of tie-offs or guidelines. Here's one. I'm using these quick disconnects. I don't know if that's coming through or not, but I can push in or push out on this and it the friction loosens up around the guideline and then I can loosen and tighten it. So that's the upper guideline and then this is the same type of connector for the lower guideline. This lower guideline is at about 30 feet and the upper guideline is right at the bottom of the RT razor and it actually comes down with it. It's connected to the bottom. And then this sloping wire that you see right here with that insulator, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that is my 75 meter uh, dipole, off-center dipole. And this end is sloping because I have disconnected the weight that I use, the counterweight. So what I do is I use this filled with water to weight it down. Well, I've disconnected it from where it normally goes on the wire and just so it doesn't slide all the way through the trees. Here's the jug on the other side already connected. So this is what keeps the tension on the 75 meter off-center dipole. So I'm on the other side of the antenna, it's right there. Getting ready to slack this up. So I just wanted to show you a shot of it before I did that. So that's how I have it. Here's a close-up of the system. Here's the safety bar. So when you pull this out, it allows for it to release and come down. And then when this catches on one of the bars, that's what keeps it stationary when it's in the parked position. I've got an Alpha Spid rotor, and that's slipping, I believe. So that's what I'm going to check here in a minute. And then I got a Yesu. thrust bearing at the top so and then there is the other part I'm gonna check and then I'm gonna re I'm gonna re um, wire this because this isn't the right wire and I've got a bunch of it right here so I'm gonna cut and splice that in so that's what we're doing today but that's how the razor works a lot of wires because all the guide wires guide wires come in between here so I don't have to undo the, the guide wires that are at 30 feet and then this is the guide wire that's on the bottom of the rack so I just cinch that up when it's when it's up 
Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll be doing another one when I put it up in the air.